Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to an exclusive first look at the brand new Corrupted Light Mythic Monster, Master Rats. This is, by the way, the monster that is going to be available in the race, the very first Corrupted Race. So my hope is that this video helps you figure out whether or not you and your team actually want to compete for this monster. Master Rat is a supportive monster. I like the adult form. That was pretty cool. That 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 ultimate is pretty cool. Master Rat. After corruption made Master Rat pure, he was filled with wisdom and he made it his mission to use that wisdom to understand how corruption makes some monsters purely evil and others purely good. Then he'll be able to control it and stop the evil from spreading across the monster, the universe of Monster Legends. Alright, he's trying to save Monster Legend kind. I like this monster a lot. You need skill to win. Ooh, that ultimate. Applies triple damage to our allies during one turn, gives 100% of stamina. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know why in the training dummy it looked like he attacked all of the enemy team. Or, or one training dummy, I forgot already. Um, I just know it looked cool the way he like absorbed all this aura and then blasted it. I don't like it because what if the enemy goes next in the turn order? And removes positive effects and bye bye triple damage, you know? Um, but ideally if you get this ultimate before your attacker, it's pretty much game over. So there's that to say about it. In terms of this monster's stats... Well, his power stat is 7920 of the Corrupted Monsters. That is the lowest, tied with Feymalis, Igoribuki, and Pandakin. A uh, similar thing can be said for the life stat, 86,860. That is tied with Dark ER, or Darker, Igoribuki, and Feymalis. So it is the lower of the bunch. And the speed stat is 6336, which is the middle stat right now for speedy monsters. It is tied with Pandakin, Darker, and Feymalis. So yeah, stats-wise, he's an average monster. I guess we, An average stats, I guess we can say. In terms of his trait, he does start the game off with Harden. 20% of the time, he does not get hit with negative effects. He gets True Vision at rank 1, which means his accuracy is enhanced. He will never miss an attack unless he's like blinded and dazed and sunburned and whatnot. In rank 3, you do get Stamina Regen. So even if the enemy goes and drains all of your stamina, maybe they're running Fae with Double Jastar's Mask, don't worry, your Stamina Regen will recover you stamina, and then you can do a skill. And again, with your True Vision, you will never ever miss. Alright, Master Rat, let's see what you can do. He has Choigar Follower, which deals moderate light damage, and it is 22 stamina to record, and we've been seeing this a lot with the new monsters. We have Inseparable Trio, very interesting skill name. Deals low light damage to all enemies, applies light, water, and fire weakness. So there have been rumors that this monster is going to be a part of some spiritual pack or something like that, similar to like the wolf pack and the unofficial dragon pack. So maybe that's why. So water weakness, light weakness, 27 stamina zero cooldown. Also water light and fire so obviously a good setup for whatever monsters you have in those arsenal i do believe the extra turner there's going to be an extra turner monster i think wing su i think he's water element so obviously him and master rat could be could synergize together in terms of fire i mean right now we have panikin although he's more of deny we have of course minos who is phenomenal so he can take advantage of that fire weakness in terms of light well this is the only light corrupted monster we have right now if you want to look at cosmics partner him up with lightmare partner him up with katsuko and then you can deal some serious serious damage against whoever you're facing all right we have rat and snake deals very heavy light damage to one enemy removes positive effects from one enemy applies vulnerable to one enemy very nice so this is you, you pack a punch with the skill, but you also remove positive effects and then set up for your next monster in the turn order. I like that. That's an interesting mechanic we don't see too often. We have short and swift. Removes all negative effects from one ally and gives one extra turn to itself. Very cool because you cleanse immediate extra turn and this has a one turn cooldown. I gotta say, I was not expecting a one turn cooldown on a skill like this. So basically every single turn, assuming you have enough stamina, if any of your monsters have some sort of negative ailments, you can cleanse and then do your real attack that you wanted to do. So, goes without saying, this might be this monster's best skill and a must-have skill. Next up, we have Snakehead, steals moderate light damage to all enemies, applies vulnerable to all enemies. So, AoE vulnerable, it's whatever to me. Staff form, applies stamina regen and damage boost to all allies. Stamina regen and damage boost, I wish this would have also cleansed. It would have been a higher caliber skill. Right now, stamina regen and damage boost, to me, doesn't just cut it. Uh, we have, but then again... Well, once again, we do have short and swift, so if you only need to worry about one monster, you're cleansing that one monster, you can do short and swift, cleanse the negative effects, and then stamina regen damage boost it, so that next, when, if it goes next in the turn order, it has enough stamina to attack and damage boost, so maybe with this monster it works. Uh, we have another ally skill, agile and changeable, removes negative effects from all allies, nice, we have a team cleanse, I like that, and applies precision, so increased accuracy. 
Ha, huh, man, see, I wish this would have removed negative effects and then the stamina, the stamina regen and damage boost, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, four elephants move, applies double damage to one ally, gives 50% of stamina to one ally. So it's obviously a setup skill for an attacker, and again, I think the main mechanic here is short and swift, and then do the do the boost. So, I mean, yeah, he's a support monster. Um, yeah, he's, he's pure support, not an attacker by any means, even though he does have this heavy light attack let me see how would i use this monster so without it goes without saying i want short and swift just removing negative effects extra turn is nice i like the fact that you can cleanse from the enemy and also remove a positive effect so if you go first in the turn order you can literally get rid of megatons right if it's a shelly bombita crowd crawler you can do this skill get rid of megaton and set up vulnerable so that your main monster deals a little initial damage so i do like that i want to run I don't think you need inseparable trio even if you have a fire monster a light monster a water monster for the most part you can do without this skill the double damage 50 stamina is kind of nice but only for an immediate attacker to get an advantage uh removes negative effects from my allies i think this is almost like a must on supportive type monsters but i'm a little wary about it just because you already have the short and swift skill and then last but not least stamina regen damage boost double damage to an ally oh man it's tough I want to run AoE vulnerable, but I also feel like I don't need it, especially when I have... Yeah, Rat and Snake is a one-turn cooldown, so if anything, I can just cycle these two. I'm actually gonna not run Snake Heads. I'm going to run... Honestly, it'd be Staff Form, or it would be the the um, the, the other one, the single ally one. Where is it? The Four Elephants move. And I think arguments can be made that you can get rid of Agile and put in Staff Form if you want to have the Stamina Region Damage Boost. The way I'm thinking about it in my head, though, is like, if you have a Megaton monster... You don't need that Megaton monster with the damage boost. But the stamina regen is what it's making me want staff form. Um, for now, we'll showcase this because for PvP purposes, I'll use Megatons. So I think I'll be okay. So this is going to be my main skill set in terms of relics. Oh, I didn't even look at relics. Okay, wait a minute, guys. He can hold an amulet? Which, by the way, that looks like the exact same amulet that Pandakin has. Right? So maybe that's part of the whole trio mechanic. Um, why can't Panikin hold the amulet relic? I know this is not a Panikin video, but he Panikin literally has a, an amulet. With that being said, because of those relics he can hold, um, if you run snake heads, and if you run, where is it? If you happen to run Sherazar's amulet, and if you run Pump Seed Staff, you can do 100% stamina drain with this monster. So he can kind of be a denier if you run snake heads. If there's no enemy Megaton, Snake Heads, and it's 100% stamina drain. So I just wanted to throw that out there for anyone that's interested, specifically more so for a war scenario. Because since this is a race monster, a lot of players are going to get this monster ranked up. So in a war scenario where there's no Megaton, use them to 100% stamina drain with Pump Seed Staff and with the, your Sherazar's Amulet. Because watch, this triggers twice, so it will remove... That one's not fully maxed out. This one, 175 points of stamina, and then the Pump Seed Staff does the rest. In terms of right now... Um, I would recommend the amulet, but you can also do Tiny's amulet, which will recover stamina. When the turn starts, if your war stamina is below 50, so once again, you never have to worry about stamina, which means you're always going to be able to cleanse negative effects, give stamina regions to your team. So honestly, this monster has really good slots, um, but I'm going to do Sherazard's amulet, so I can do Cane of Atlantis over here, because I really like the Cane of Atlantis from an offensive point of view. But if you prefer Masher Staff or another one, um, go, go ahead and do whatever you like. So we're going to go ahead and run this. I, I kind of like this monster. Support monsters, I always have a thing for support monsters because sometimes I feel like they get undervalued. Man, that looks so cool. That's a tight animation. They get undervalued, but we're going to see how well this monster performs in the PvP meta. Okay, so I just unlocked his runes. You know, now that I think about it, it doesn't even matter that he has True Vision because unless you're running the AoE Snakeheads, you you probably won't get too much out of that True Vision. I guess if anything, you'll never miss the positive effect removal and the vulnerable on the enemy. Um, but this monster is a supportive monster, so you want to give him team speed, or you just want him to go before the end, your attacker. You want to be able to buff your attacker so your attacker can do his thing. That's the main thing. You want to be able to cleanse from your attacker so your attacker is good to go, and then you want to be able to do the double damage buff and go from there. So that's how we're going to use this monster right now. I gave him single speed, but we're going to give him team speed. All right, so this is the first team we're going to try. We're going to use Master Rat with Darker and Shelly, and we'll just see how it goes. I am allowed to do player versus player. However, I am not allowed to win the battles because that would be unfair for me to win with the monster that was given to me for the sole purpose of an exclusive first luck. With that being said, all right, first base we have is a Hardy. So in this case, there's obviously no reason to do the extra turn skill. So this is where Rat, Snake, Rat, and Snake comes in handy. The fact that I can remove Megatons and apply Vulnerable, so then my attacker gets the advantage of that and deal 
extra damage. In this case, he's um, we have elemental advantage anyway, so it's not really extra damage. Um, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, removing Megaton, I'm able to attack the main threat. So get rid of him. I will go ahead and just do the positive effect protection. Full Fortress. All right, this is where, once again, even if you don't absolutely need it, short and swift to myself, and then Rat and Snake, look, Megaton is gone, that damage protection is gone, and then I'm able to attack and go from there. So pretty darn cool, I would say. Once again, short and swift, and then attack and apply the vulnerable whoever need it, remove whatever effects I have. So I do like that. Basically, every single turn, you can single target remove effects. Here is the team cleanse precision, so my attacks don't miss from my other allies. Um, let's go ahead and just do the AOE skill, get rid of data list, and that's it for round one. So, you know, even as a, if you were to give him three speed just to get rid of Megaton and then have your attacker go next in the turn order, that could potentially work. Um, here, we're just going to take advantage of the double damage buff. So we are going to go four elephants move applies double damage. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh, taunt monsters are still ruining that. So for a while, there's been this issue where you try to buff your monster. The monster that has Taunt and Megaton absorbs the buff. So I clicked on my Darker, but my Shelly absorbed the double damage buff. So that's unfortunate. It looks like you won't be able to synergize like that, at least until Social Point fixes it. All right, so we'll just do a regular attack. All right, dead. Whip of the trees. I got stunned across the board. And then everything is kicking in. Ancient Wood, feeling my roots. My goodness, stunned again. Oh my gosh, look what happens when the enemy is allowed to attack. Okay, so this monster has negate healing vulnerable. This monster has poison, negate healing, and also vulnerable. So at least what I can do is that team cleanse skill. If I needed to remove something, I could even do short and swift on the main monster that needs to be protected. And then do the rat and snake or something else. But here I am just going to do agile. There we go. All negative effects are gone. Got hit with a poison. All right, here I can do my attacker is next in the turn order. I want him to be able to dish out the most damage. Keep in mind that poison reduces power. So short and swift, bye bye poison, and then four elephants move, buff him, and now he has double damage. So obviously his attacks are a lot stronger. So I can just easily obliterate the enemy. All right, so Shelly is ruining my plans here. Shelly, no. Man, that, that's unfortunate. So yeah, whatever Megaton monster I put or Taunt monster... Ah, they're going to keep draining it. All right, I'm going to try swapping. I don't think this is going to end well. Maybe if I do a churn transfer monster like Lupin. All right, so synergizing corrupted monsters and cosmic monsters. Let's see how well they play out. So um, I think I am good. I think I am good. Yeah, so we're going to click fight. Let's see. I hope there's no Hardy or Chuckamuckle on defense. Okay, perfect. So we're going to click fight. And let's see. Ooh, this one is, is really actually perfect. We are going to go ahead and based on the turn order, um, I can do so much. I can actually remove positive effects myself. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. But we're going to go Masher Reprice. We are going to do Rat and Snake, which once again removes Megatons. There we go. And again, if I wanted to remove Immune to Control, for example, I could just go Rat and Snake again. Um, but here we're going to go four Elephants move to give double damage. Stamina if you needed it. And then... Um, obviously just obliterate everyone. Look at that damage output. 451 thanks to that double damage buff. We're going to go Corrupted Curse. Nice. And yeah, that's it for that round. So, Master Rat, he's nothing too spectacular, but at the same time, I do like the low cooldown on those skills. It's just very nice. By the way, let me just show Panikin real quick. Where's Panikin? Look at that. They both have... Well, he has a huge amulet. He has a huge, huge amulet. All right, that looks familiar. Maybe from the Keeper or something. I, I feel like I've seen that before. Um, on Master Rat, but anyhow, going back to here, we'll do we'll do Minos, and we will. All right, Darker. It was fun using you, but we need to borrow that Strength Rune again, and then we'll try it with Minos, which it's essentially the same thing, right? You're buffing your attacker. That's the main thing you're getting out of it, and we'll keep Masher. All right, now he's running level nine. I think Minos is slower, so. Because Minos is slower, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be slightly faster. So as long as I can do the double damage buff and go from there, I should be solid. And we do have a Hardy and we have a Cryo Crawler. All right, so this might get dangerous. I am going to get rid of Megatons. And okay, no, I'm good. Just because my monster is fast enough, I can just go ahead and double damage buff. And I think he's too strong. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, tell me you have Revival. You do. Okay, cool. Wallbreaker in this case. Look, oh, by the way, Wallbreaker gets rid of shields. Um, before actually dealing damage. I was hoping he would res his team so I could kill them again. 
All right, we'll let him get a turn in. We'll recharge um, again. Ooh, never mind. Yeah, we're just going to recharge and then negative effects. Nope. Recharge. 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 All right, I'm pretty sure he'll res. Nope. Oh, he didn't res. All right, we're not going to continue this battle. But yeah, here's Master Rat in action. Kind of, um, I feel like the attackers, the attacker corrupted monsters have really been stealing the show just because PvP meta has a lot of Megaton monsters and you got to deal with them initially. Um, so this is kind of the best way to do that. Um, we will go ahead and do turn it on itself. Get rid of that Megaton. See what happens here. Time, favorite trick, trade disable. Okay, not bad. So I did not get hit with that death countdown. So I can protect my Lupin. There we go. And look, I got my alt. Applies triple damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I can do rat and snake to get rid of the evasion. So we'll do that. All right. And then I'll die next turn though, right? One turn before death. Um, here, let me go ahead and kill the enemy Lindworm. All right, um, turn transfer. What I wanted to showcase was, I hope I don't get denied. I might get denied. We'll recharge. Time again, Amber Dust, Warming Light. All right, so um, I should have had one turn to live. I could have chosen a short and swift on myself, and I would have protected myself. And once again, I can get rid of the enemy evasion. Um, I really want to showcase this, though. Apl um, apply triple damage to our allies. All right, we gotta say we got to wait, though, because I have all these negative effects. What do I have? Major damage reduction. Oh, that's fine. I can still I can still pull it off. So there we go. And let's see how powerful I am. Keep in mind I have a major damage reduction and a yeah, and a that's it, major damage reduction, but still wall breaker, raging fire. Let's go heat axe. No, let's not go heat axe. Let's go wall breaker. Look at that damage output. Oh my gosh, even with 50% reduction. That is crazy. That is insane. Here, let's just churn transfer. Let's do Rat and Snake. Get rid of your positive effects. Awesome. So yeah, guys, that's kind of how Master Rat works. We'll do another battle. Um, overall, I like them. I like that you can run them as a team speed. I like that there's a little arguments for running single speed depending who you have. Um, as long as it's not a Tom monster that absorbs the buff. Um, once again, going through the skill sets, I am thinking Snake Heads you don't need unless... You know what? Just to kind of give you guys the whole picture, let's go ahead and give them Snake Heads and staff form i think yeah we'll just with that and let's go ahead and swap we'll keep that and we'll put in that pump seed staff let's just hope we find a specific battle that's master staff let's hope we find a specific battle that's master staff as well where we can actually use the stamina drain so i'm gonna run them as full speed just to do stamina drain and then i think I think for this one, I could afford a, a Megaton monster. I think this will work out. So let's click fight. Assuming there's no Megaton on the enemy. If there's a Megaton on the enemy, then I am in trouble. And unfortunately, of course, there is. So again, PvP meta, war meta, different things. Because um, here, I have to go right and snake on turn one. And yeah, that, that exhausts the pump seed staff. That's the worst thing about it, trying to do it in PvP. Um, but yeah, once Megaton is gone, your attacker is free to attack and kill whoever you need to kill. Um, <laughs> it's so powerful wall breaker gosh i love it it just it feels so strong it feels so so strong all right we'll try again hopefully there's no megatons um i'm hoping i fight all commons and i otk them or something all right let's see we have daedalus again yeah so um it's just gonna be the case so we'll nonetheless we'll just we'll keep eliminating boom sherazar's amulet you guys get the idea pump seed staff they're both kicking in eternal knight whatever and let's see <laughs> wall breaker again it just it feels so strong even on four times speed i don't know to me it's like kind of slow-mo like i see the the quake from the attack man i'm liking him a lot i'm really really falling in love with minos and another megaton monster so yeah it looks like we won't be able to do anything about it um here i'll do short and swift for fun and then look he did a pyrophobic shield <laughs> i happen to be fire um we can still just do rat and snake positive effects gone and yeah we can we'll go from there 100 percent sound drain i think you guys get the idea um let's kill chuckle boom half a million damage favorite trick all right one well, there so guys with that being said this has been an exclusive first look on master rat the team race monster the very first corrupted race monster i like the monster design a lot i actually do like the skills nothing too crazy but at the same time i do like the one turn cycling between rat and snake short and swift I think they synergize really well. I do love that you also have a team cleanse. That is super valuable. And you also have some buffs for your attacker. You can do double damage buff. You can do whole team stamina region damage buff. So pretty useful in my opinion. Um, Relic slots are also really good on this monster. Staff. So you can stamina drain, recover stamina. Um, amulet, same thing. Recover stamina, drain stamina. So overall, 
I like the monster a lot. I feel like his trait isn't really that useful to him. Like, Hardened is obviously useful. True Vision, I don't think this monster needs. And Sand Regen, I mean, it's nice. It'll get removed after a while. And your Relics kind of can deal, can do the Stamina Regen. So you don't really need it. So the trait is whatever on this monster. But with that being said, guys, this has been an exclusive first look on Masterat. Let me know what you guys think about this monster in the comments below. Is your team going to be racing hard for this monster? Also, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.